Decision making. Is there a model that you can use to make better decisions? Well, guess what? There is. Let's get into this. Hey, hey, JB Glossinger here. This is more of a community than a channel. As always, I tell you that we got a great community here. Love to have your uh, your your discussions down below, your comments, uh, anything that's going on with you. We're hey, we're a community to make the world better. That's what we're doing. And today, I want to talk to you about the decision making process that we've put together, utilizing a few decision making uh, processes that will help you. If you go in your planner that you get free over at MorningCoach.com, you're going to see a homepage, and on this homepage. You have an annual planner, you have system index, system progress, a lot going on, okay? These are notes that you can put in your planner and you go back to if you're using like a Remarkable 2 or an iPad. But down at the bottom is what's really critical. You're gonna see these buttons that say decision making. What that does is when you click one of those, it's gonna take you to this decision making process. And I wanna go over a few of these ideas with you because they can literally change your life as you start to make better decisions, okay? So the first one is the Ben Franklin. If you don't know the Ben Franklin, Ben Franklin was known for making decisions basically by taking the pros and the cons. So you would take the pros and cons and then weight them. Like some pros mean more than some cons. And then that was the basis of his decision making. So typically we like to start with the Ben Franklin. Why? Because it gives you a good indicator that, hey, my weighted pros outweigh my cons. This is a good decision. The next step is to think about the questions that you're gonna ask when it comes to making a decision. And we have some here. Does it give you energy? This is a big one for us. One of the big things I coach people in our morning coach community is to do more things that uh, give you energy and less things that take energy. Literally thousands of people around the world have changed because of just that. Like I wanna do more things that give me energy. The next thing is, are you doing it just for the money? So many people do things just for the money. I'll talk about that in a minute that literally could really disrupt your life. Does it help society, the human species move forward? That's an important thing to think about big picture. Is it part of your bigger picture? Is, it, is, it, is this something that is gonna make a big difference? And does it help me hit my goals? Five quick questions. So you've got to Ben Franklin now, you're making a good decision. Do I need to hire this person? Do I need to let this person go? Do we need to go on this vacation? What are the benefits? And now we know what's going on in our questions. And finally, the really, I think one of the most important ones, even though it's last, because you neg it before you get there. If one of these is negged, you just neg it. But it's the values uh, assessment. And that is, are your values in aligned? And if you've never worked with a coach that's helped you understand your values, this is critical. In my book, The Sacred Six, we had a big argument between, it was edited like five times by my editor and publisher, does mission go before values? And it was really up in the air. And it still is, because values are what's important to you. Mission is what you're gonna accomplish this year in our system. But the values, why they're so important is because they dictate decision making. So when you have values, like for example, when I was in my final year of corporate 19 years ago, before I started coaching, I was running an aerospace company, right? So I was running this company and I was miserable. I come from a factory working family. My family worked in factories in Indiana and I had never made the amount of money that I was making. Company car, beautiful house, traveling the world, beautiful wife, living in Columbia, back and forth. I mean, I had everything you could absolutely imagine, but I was miserable. The reason I was miserable is because I had no freedom. I was locked into a job and I would psychologically sit in that office and I would beat myself up constantly, like settle for this, settle for this. You know, you've got so many great things. You make more than your parents, why aren't you happy? But the truth is why I wasn't happy is because I never did a values, looked at what was important to me, my values. And really, I did my MBA and my PhD, but I was really kind of a surfer guy growing up in Indiana. I wanted to be on the West Coast, you know, riding the waves. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be independent and free. That's the way I grew up. Well, what happened is I became this business person, right? And, and it wasn't me wearing suits and ties. It had nothing to do with my core being. And so I had to look in the mirror and go, okay, freedom is my most important value. Faith and family, those are my Fs. They're really important to me. I said, I'm not, they, I'm not serving those by being here. A lot of people say, but you had a great job. But I wasn't happy. I was miserable. I had no joy. And so I was able to write books and change. And now I live a life of freedom with nothing on my calendar. And I know my number one value is freedom. So when it comes to decisions, I'm, I'm doing the Ben Franklin. I'm asking my questions. And I'm going, does it match? Am I going to be free? So he says, okay, take on this consulting job for $2 million but you're gonna to have to work 60 hours a week. I'm not doing it. It's not worth it to me, my mental health and where I'm at in my life at 54 years old. So 
Understanding these concepts are really important. It's why you work with a coach and why I put this system together to make it affordable for anybody that really can really change their life. And we have these systems. So we give away the planner for free. So you can at least start using the planner and understand this homepage is really critical in your planner, specifically if you're using e-devices like this, you can just click on it and go to the back of your decision-making model and now you have a proper way to make decisions and you're just not going willy-nilly. And so many people wonder why they don't have energy and happiness and joy in their life. They go, why do you get so much energy? Because I, I do a system. I understand where I'm going. I'm excited about where I'm going. And, and it, it's because I've worked at it for 19 years to build something to support other very intelligent people. And that's what we have in our community. It's exciting. And so now whenever I need to make an important decision, I just press one of those, sit down and I have a layout. And guess what? Now you do too. And that's what I believe in, giving value, giving value, giving value. And then those of you that want to come rock with us over at morningcoach.com, we'd love to have you a part of the community. All right, go have a great day as always. Lots of love to you. You now have a great way to make decisions with this new decision-making model. Well, it's not new, but Maybe for you, it's new. All right, go have a great day. We'll see you here on the YouTube channel.